Can I fire more than one of these at a time? Nope, one laser limit. But I'm pretty sure for the big guys like this, no problem. Come on. Oh, and I missed. We're gonna use Kane this time because he has a lucky foot. The more luck we have, the more items we find. The strategy to this is to keep going, replaying the first floor until we find the proper starting items. And I'm gonna wait for something good. And this is gonna take a long time considering the item room is at the other end of the dungeon. All this way for what appears to be a crack pipe turns all non-boss enemies into poop. We're restarting. The second time played out the same way, I went all the way to the end and the item room is at the opposite end. This thing I don't want and there's nothing I can do about it, so just kidding, if I bomb that thing it changes. So I know of an option for this item, which I also don't want, so we're restarting. You know what, I think this mutant spider might be kind of what I'm looking for. We fire slower, but we fire four tiers at once. Add that with some attack speed or maybe some tier modifiers and we'll really have something fun going on. And this way, I'll miss a lot less. That's just gonna get me through the dungeons a lot faster. Especially for rooms like this with his bundles of flies bundles of flies. You know, it's just gonna make things easier. And apparently this is part of a set, so if I find the right items, I'll get a set and I'll be that much stronger again. And we found a secret room. So, you know, I'm gonna blow this guy up. Not sure if that actually has an effect or not, but I just like killing things. Well, let's see how my two hearts and one little upgrade goes against this guy. So far so good, not taking a ton of damage. Whoop, there we go. I did manage to walk into him once, but as always, it's only ever going to be me that hurts myself. All right, we get a juice box for our effort. A damage and range up. See, we're making good progress. We're now up to 531 damage, and we get to fire them extra far. And that extra damage is going to add up, considering I am shooting four tiers at once. So as long as I'm close to things, I can hit them with all of them. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit of damage already. And our next item is poop. That's basically a bomb modifier, but it did also give me bombs, so I won't complain about that because there's rocks with an X on it, and these bombs now look like that. And I guess they poisoned the room. Here's another rock with an X on it. Oh, don't touch that. Oh, this is not a good spot to be. Well, we made it out okay. This room probably would have taken most of my health if it wasn't for the upgrades I have right now. That extra damage actually saved me. What do you think the white pill does? I can see forever. I don't know what that means, but I like it. Oh, I think it shows me the secrets in the walls. Either that or this just happened to be a room that's going to show me the secrets in the walls, but either way, I like it. So this secret just has, you know, that. So cool. I'm sure that had a chance to give me something, and this one has all these coins. I'm rich. I gotta go to the store right away and also blow him up. Let's see how fast we can kill these, because these are really annoying. Yeah, we basically one-shot those. We'll open the chest and see what we get. Four bombs left. Six bombs left. Not sure what just happened, but I am here now. So we can choose one of these items if I want to sacrifice a heart. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to lose a heart doing that, but he's actually going to find a lot of hearts for me and eventually spawn some for me. So it's just going to add to my health. Speaking of health, I'm definitely going to buy a heart right now and maybe buy whatever this treasure map is. This reveals rooms for me. And I like finding rooms because that's going to lead to more items and more stuff. And we just got to be super careful not to lose too much health through this boss, which is going to be hard because this one hits me a lot. It's very unpredictable where it's going to pop out. Every once in a while it will kind of freeze outside and then I'll get some free shots on it. But until then, I'm dodging and also taking quite a bit of damage. Whoa, those ones explode. I didn't know that. Anyways, he's dead. We got a blue mushroom for our effort. And we got another curse room, but I can't sacrifice any hearts. HP tears up, shot speed down. So that's what it looks like now. And this just puts me right back into this room. So I'm going to take this guy. He actually finds me hearts too along the way. So between the two followers I have, I'll be finding lots of hearts. Those two might actually stack together. I'm not really sure, but it's possible. And now I got to fight Gluttony, which shouldn't take too long. I almost didn't get out of the way of that. There we go. Look at all those good hearts. Oh, can you grab that one though? I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but unless you guys can grab that one, I don't really want you. I do think these two followers are going to play off each other pretty nicely because one causes red hearts to spawn, the other collects red hearts, and the more he collects, the more stuff he drops for me. It's that hourglass I don't really want, but I might be able to find a fun use for that. If I use it, it just takes me back to the room before. Kind of like that. And then there's the hourglass again. There we go. My little demon friend dropped me another gray heart. I guess the hourglass thing could be good for rooms that I screw up because if I don't like the way it played out, I can redo the room. Which is probably going to happen a lot because I play pretty recklessly sometimes. This room wasn't a bad find in itself because we get stuff like that. Not sure if I can afford anything here. There's nothing I want anyways, really. I could re-roll it, I guess, but not going to be able to afford anything unless I blow him up for some money. Well, we got a few cents. Is it worth doing it? We could try it once, maybe. Nope. Oh, well. On to Gertie. Gertie will hopefully die pretty quickly and easily given all my damage and shots, but we'll see how this goes. Sometimes bosses are super easy. Sometimes they're super hard. Stop hitting me, and pretty much there already, Kate. Okay. Just gotta avoid that from now on, but we're good. Eat the hearts, eat this one, come on. Give me something good. We got a spider. Feet up, size down. Was really hoping for some more damage upgrades or tier things. Should we play this guy's game? No, we should blow him up. Oh, I don't want to give you that. Well, 
We're doing a little bit of both. What does a blue pill do? I found pills. And I can see forever. I don't remember what that one did either. If this is the kind of room I could maybe work with. Is that'll fill in that and go get the hearts while he gets the other ones. And he spat out another gray one. We're up to five hearts total now. What is this thing? Oh, that's a big snake, isn't it? But a big snake means it's extra hittable for all my uh, ears going out. Whoops. Okay, they split. I forgot about that part. Not to worry, we're under control. This will obviously reward me with something amazing. Or not really give me much of anything, but that was still a pretty unique room. There's also a secret up here I almost didn't notice. Which leads me to this interesting thing. Not actually sure what this does because I've never seen one before. Do we have anything that's maybe not a heart or an enemy? I'll spend all my money here just to see what happens. I don't really care. At some point, can it give me something though? A golden key's pretty good. That'll open everything on this floor without needing keys. Double heart. And... Eat the heart. One more spin. Alright, so far it's dropped me keys, bombs, a few good stuff. You know, that's it. Look who dropped me another heart. I don't think I've ever had that many gray hearts before. And I kind of needed them all for a room like this because I think I lost a heart, heart and a half. Because there was a bunch of spiders running around in there. I didn't even have time to hit the record button because there was just too much going on. Our item for the floor is potentially whatever that is. I'm not sure if I want that. This apparently will make my tears faster, but it also gives me kind of control over them. Not sure if I like this, but I think I see the potential in it because I can... Well, they fire a little bit faster. Oh, whoops. And you know what? That's fine by me. Okay, I understand how this works now. I can hold the fire button and spawn a whole bunch that are going to fire all in a direction like that all at once when I release it. I'm straight up redoing this room because I took way too much damage and already I got hit again. But yep, these bone guys kind of suck. There we go. I think we did better that time. Maybe. Do you have any money I could have, sir? No? Great. Found another secret, which is just a bunch of bombs. Uh, this room's also going to be annoying. I really didn't have to walk into that, but I sure did anyway. Hi, um, remember me? I'm going to take some more stuff from you now, hopefully, because I need more stuff. Aren't I supposed to have extra luck? Oh, there we go. Two whole coins. Two more coins. We're actually making money again. I think I broke the thing. Can I blow, blow both of you up at once? Nope. Nope. I'm sure this will go amazingly well. Gertie again. Oh, big Gertie. Uh, I'm not really sure where to sit where I'm safe. I don't know how to do this one. Do I just keep moving? I mean, I could just keep moving. Doing plenty of damage so far, I guess. Keep going up the little red things. Keep moving around here. Yeah, I think we got this under control. I don't know why this boss is so easy compared to some of the other ones. Some of the rooms are way harder than this. Maybe I just have a good setup for this. I don't know. Still taking damage. Whoops. Okay, and we're good. There we go. Picks up the heart, and we got a purple needle. Speed and damage up. Perfect. We're up to seven damage. Seven damage for every one of these. I'm sure I would love either one of those, but I can't give up any health right now. This floor seems quite a bit bigger. And I'm going to try and focus just a little bit more so I can take a little bit less damage. Because I'm starting with all sorts of hearts, but by the time I make it to the boss, I'm running low. I just found the Bible tract in this room, which is a trinket. That's going to help me find eternal hearts, apparently. And that's okay, because I need lots of extra hearts. And I just realized how fast I am now. When did I get so fast? This room could be fun if I could line up enough of these guys. Okay, I gotta be careful. Okay, I should stop screwing around and probably just kill the enemies. My item for this floor could be this thing. Interestingly, he's gonna mimic one of the other familiars following me and do the same thing. I don't really want that because I don't think that's gonna do anything. So we'll hopefully get a new one of those after enough donations. A syringe. That's probably good for stuff. Speed and shot speed up. So that's gonna help my tears get to where they're going faster, and I think I'm faster now too. Plus, I look like this. Found a mini boss, and I only got hit there because I was hitting my record button. I don't really know what my problem is today, but I just can't avoid damage. But I've got six hearts to work with now going into the boss fight. Monstro 2. Shouldn't be too bad. Whoops, didn't mean to press that. Anyways, that was, uh, yep. Completely what I wanted to do. Have a bomb while we're at it. I was wondering if that poison would kind of affect him. Looks like it does, but not too much. I already thought firing all these shots by now would be doing more damage overall. I'm doing 7 damage per tier, but, you know, it's still not really adding up to that much in the end. And you can just never have too much damage. Anyways, he's nice and dead. My is gonna pick up some hearts, hopefully drop me some new ones. Not at all. Oh, what did I just pick up? I picked up an item, but I don't know what it did. I didn't see. On checking the replay, range and luck up. I know I have a luck of 2. What is this thing? Mom's toenail? Sounds like the kind of thing I want. Alright, that's not something I want. That brings down the foot every so often and it can hurt me. And you know what? I'm having enough trouble not taking damage as it is. But this looks fun. Stick it to him. My damage just went up by two, so we're at nine damage per these. Oh, they're nails. Are they in my eyes? Where did my eyes go? Anyways, I'm sure these are going to be great. Uh, I'm sure they have an extra effect. I don't really know what it is, but extra damage anyway. That's all I care about. I think I'm going to like these nails just for the extra damage. I'm sure the effects of them are great and all, but you know what? That's just plenty of damage. We'll get the heart there you go. Yeah, give me some enemies too. Just what I wanted. What is, what is this one? 
Cancer. Apparently Cancer makes me shoot faster. Not really sure if that makes a difference given my current setup or not. So I might just stick with this one, which, yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. So in theory, if every one of those nails is doing full damage, that's 36 damage for every one of these volleys. Is this a trinket or an item? Penny tears? Oh, did I lose my nails? Does it do everything? This basically just means enemies have a 5% chance to drop a coin when I kill them, which is 1 in 20. Whoops. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably just going to redo this room. Look at all the bats. Oh, those pennies really hit them hard that time. I don't like the pennies as much just because they're harder to see through. They're a little bit bigger. This store is some stuff for me though. Give me whatever this is. I see the future. And then we'll make some sacrifice or a single sacrifice to that thing. And we'll blow him up because that's fun. Uh, this kind of setup works pretty good for like rooms like this because that. A little disappointed in my companion so far. I was hoping that one of them would be spawning so many red hearts that the other one would be spawning a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm at three and a half hearts going into this boss fight, which is mom. Don't worry, I have a strategy. Oops. Okay, that was not... Oh, are we done already? I'm not really sure what happened there. At first I think that didn't work, but then it did. And now we get more damage. Now we're up to 10 damage. 10.11. So each one of these volleys has 40. And we could sacrifice for a goat head. I don't think that's worth it. Because I think that just gives a chance to spawn these rooms after boss fights. And well, I don't have that many hearts to sacrifice anyways. And we get the red rooms where I can't see anything anyway. Oh, hey, look. Boss fights. Mini boss fights. You guys just stay up over there where I can hit you with coins. And I'll be over here if you need me. Oh, this is a bad spot to be in. Yep. Well, at least when I lose those hearts, they take damage. But I missed that heart. Did I redo that room? No, that's as good as it's going to get. Some of these big enemies, though, sure are easy to kill when I can hit them with all my coins. Like these guys, especially when I load up. Whoops, didn't realize they could charge like that. Eat the heart, nothing in return. What happens if he eats a big heart? He gives me a spider. You could have given me anything, like anything would have been better than that, but great. Hey, look, big guy. And he's dead. Never seen this before. Bouncy ball. Super ball. Apparently, tears have a chance to bounce off walls and stuff. Yeah, I'm not taking that. This room would be really, really annoyingly hard with some different upgrades, but I think as it is, this is going to be okay because I can kill the guys and their bodies all at the same time. Just found what's known as Steven for damage up, so we're now at 11 damage per shot. So we're up to a total of 44 damage per volley, which seems to work pretty good. I'm not sure how tough those guys are supposed to be by this point, but we're going to eat this pill. Something's wrong. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping to find some health before fighting Loki here, but we'll just have to make do with what we got. At least we got the damage on our side, finally. Nope, that's going to hurt them, though. I don't have any Q items either, I just realized, so I'm just basically doing it on my own. But when I do get a full volley on them, it does do a lot of damage. I don't know if I've ever fought this boss before, so this is all new to me. And, uh, wasn't that hard, actually. Wait, there we go. Wasn't that hard. Didn't see that little spider crawling around. Anyways, this is going to be good because range and shot speed up. And look how big the coins are now. Won't be missing much with these. Now, do I want any of these things? I don't really know what they do and I got to be careful not to touch it accidentally. It's really kind of a shame I don't have more hearts right now because I would buy this one down below me because that would turn my shots into lasers and it would fire four lasers currently which would do a ridiculous amount of damage. Unfortunately, I can't sacrifice the hearts. Actually, since I was curious, I'm pretty sure I can do this. Yep, we're good. Oh, I do not like what I'm left with for hearts, but wait. Aren't I supposed to fire lasers now? Oh, I gotta charge it up. Interesting, that's... Whoops, don't touch that, idiot. That's gonna do a ton of damage, but I'm also super vulnerable. Like to the point where I'm almost scared to move. And these lasers I thought were going to be quicker because I got to build them all the way up. And then they're that slow to fire. They do a ton of damage, but this is going to be super hard to work with. Oh, this is a bad room. Uh oh. Don't touch anything. Dodge. Yeah, so far so good. We're under control. Just don't panic. And I'm also going to use up my bombs looking for things like that, but also heart containers. Any more hearts I can get would be great. Oh, it's going to be hard even to clear out these guys because I got to wait for my laser to charge. Oh, I forgot about that. Whoops. I also forgot about that. I can step on rocks right now because of the cheese soup I just found. So that's going to help me find some more hearts. And whoops. Nope, give me this. Because if I don't find some hearts right now, I'm pretty well boned. Can I fire it that way instead? Yeah, I don't really know how easy it is it's going to be to hit things with this laser right now. I'm going to have to like bait them in like that or something. It's going to kill them when it hits them, but it's going to be super hard to time. Poison touch, extra damage. There we go. Now we're doing 13 damage in our stupid laser thing. And also whatever this is, umbilical cord, which I do actually think I'm going to take because that's going to trigger when I'm at half a heart and it fires a thing that helps me. And not saying I'm going to be at half a heart or anything, but I'm pretty low on health right now. I also got Bob's brain. Oh, that's right. It fires in the same direction I'm shooting and blows stuff up when it gets there. This might be difficult. Uh, okay. You're going to have to deal with laser beam. See, when it hits things, it absolutely destroys them, but 
Mm, it's hard to do. Oh, hearts. Is he going to spit something out? Oh, there we go. Gray heart. Things are looking up again. Uh, rooms like this actually aren't going to be that bad, especially if I sit back here. The laser should fan out so far. By that point, it's going to hit everything on that side of the room. Oh, someone's going to have to help me. Oh, thank you, bomb thing. Exactly what I needed, actually. Another one of these rooms, and you guys are going to have some lasers. Perfect. I really do want to try this against some bosses. Because I'm pretty sure the laser is going to like destroy everything it's going to get in the way of, but we'll see. Okay, this room I'm straight up redoing. Or maybe not going in at all, because that's so hard to do with lasers that I can't even see a way to do that properly. Here's kind of a boss fight. How about you wait over there and I laser you from here? Dead. Basically insta-kill. Golden horseshoe? That's got to be good, right? Still unlucky? I am now. I think this one is a boss challenge room. I do like the amount of chests in here, so I'm all for this. Gonna hopefully hit it. It's not an insta-kill, but close. Oh, this room's actually gonna be really hard. Good thing I have my hourglass to get me out of trouble, potentially. Can I fire more than one of these at a time? Nope, one laser limit. But I'm pretty sure for the big guys like this, no problem. Come on. Oh, and I missed. And one more guy. He's pretty slow, so there you go. Get lasered dead another room whoops it could be interesting okay i'm gonna restart this one too but you see the point that i was trying to make there rooms like this are also kind of a nightmare because i can't really deal with these things that are so quick come on i need a heart really bad never mind hopefully this is something portable blood bank i do kind of like the sounds of that but i don't think i'm gonna be able to use it anyways i'm gonna take it with me because the hourglass is gonna be useless after this armed with lucky 13 damage let's see how the boss fight goes mom's heart well hope you like lasers oh already taking damage already taking way too much damage Wait, can I just kind of, like, I don't, mm-hmm. Let's at least get the laser going. It doesn't actually hit anything and I'm dead. Yeah, the laser thing did a lot of damage. I did like it. It's way too hard to use.